You gotta love a champion, and I am with Lisa Champion, the owner of Carlisle Drug. You have been the owner for almost two decades, right? Yes. All right, well, I call Carlisle Drug in downtown Alex City the solution to a rainy day at the lake. Tell us why someone would come in to Carlisle. Well, first of all, we're the only full service fountain left in the state of Alabama. Um, and full service means you come in, you sit down just like you would at a regular restaurant, and the waitress says, wait on you completely. You don't have to get up and do anything. So that's what full service means, which is fantastic because people like to bring their families in and just sit down and enjoy a, a fun afternoon, whether it be eating in the soda fountain or shopping in the gift shop. Well, you want to talk about a loyal fan base. Um, when I moved here three years ago, I'm walking up and down downtown, just kind of getting my bearings, trying to see what, you know, is going on here. I came into Carlisle because it always has a beautiful window display. And it was like, you just have this, feel this wonderful energy that people have been here uh, for generations, I guess. Yes, they have. What's the history of Carlisle Drug? Lisa. Well, the history started back in 1914. Uh, Mr. Hoyt Carlisle started the drugstore then. Um, he and one of his brothers uh, were sent to pharmacy school in Atlanta, Georgia by Mr. Ben Russell at that time because he had a vision that Ellick City needed a pharmacy. Mm -hmm. So he sent them one at a time to Atlanta. And then they moved across the street because they had a little soda shop located across the street from us now where Lou's Beauty Shop is. And, you know, he wanted to have something here for the town later on. So after they returned, he, they opened up Carlisle Drugstore and incorporated their soda shop in here as well as a pharmacy at the time. Well, um, it's very family friendly. I love it when you get close to the holidays and you have all kinds of fun um, decorations and gifts. Um, I can't swing by the jewelry uh, <laughs> you know, a little jewelry counter without putting on a little bling. So thank you for letting me borrow that. I may have to go home with this. Um, so you say you have three children. Yes. And that some of your clientele feel like that you're a part of your children's Very much so. Uh, when we, my husband and I bought the store, our oldest child had just turned six, and our youngest daughter at the time had just turned two. And then we had one, another one, our son, five years later. So all, of my, all three of them have grown up here in the store, and all the customers have gotten to watch them grow up, uh, blossom into young adults, especially our oldest two, who are both in college now. Our oldest daughter's in radiology school at Southern Union, and our youngest daughter's at Auburn and in graphic design program. Gracious. And then our son is here in uh, the middle school. Um, well, and I'm assuming they went to Benjamin Russell. Yes, they did. So go Wildcats. It's <laughs> big um, football time yes. of year for around, and Carlisle is kind of the hub of that, isn't it? Yes, especially on game day. Like tomorrow, for example, is our uh, homecoming. Um, schools will get out early, usually they're out by 12 o'clock, and then, you know, from that time until the time of the parade at 2.30, it is just a traffic jam downtown, which is awesome because everybody comes, they get their parking space, and they wait, all the grandparents and family members, so it's like, you know, nudge, nudge to try to get in the door and move down the street and so forth, which is just fantastic. Uh, and you have registry bridal registry. Yes, we do a bridal registry. We also do a baby registry as well and I also do a wish list for Christmas. Oh. So all the wives can come in and look through and place items on their wish list for their husbands. So all they have to do is just come in and we take care of them. <laughs> You've got it covered. Well, the store looks fantastic and it looks like it has just gotten an overall haul. What all have you done this year with the store and the new look? Well, we it, we took out the pharmacy, of course, at the end of last year, and then we started an extensive renovation. We went from pharmacy to a boutique completely. So there is no pharmacy aspect left in the store. It's all boutique, and it's kind of given that modern, traditional yes. edge to it. Uh, I have a lot of people that say that, you know, it looks like you would find it in Birmingham mm -hmm. and some of the higher-end areas, even like in the Carolinas. So yes. I've had a lot of compliments, and people have been so gracious about everything. Yes, but the prices are not city prices or, exactly. you know, luxury prices. I mean, I walked through the door and immediately found something that I want to um, buy. Pretty little shirt over there. Got great name brands, um, fun picture frames, and... Um, you know, game day wear and just really all 
neat things. You right. really service us all, and we just appreciate you being here. Is it harder to renovate a store or a house? It's harder to renovate a store, especially a hundred year old <laughs> store. <laughs> okay, but you did find a really cool thing. Tell us about the exposed stone. Well, we actually found two different things. We found the exposed stone wall back here that was once the original exterior wall for the store. Um, we also found a tile wall over to my left here that was the uh, place where the original soda fountain sat in the store. So, but having both of those aspects, yeah. historical aspects, was really neat to find. Yep. So, a lot of people really just had to come in and see, especially when we first opened, yes. because nobody had any idea that they were there. We didn't have an idea that they were here. Well, thank you for keeping it. It's part of Alex City history that will live. And um, if you haven't already, you've got to come by and see Carlisle Drug.